Satan's toilet is just never leaving, apparently. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last episode on Red, White, and Bethune, we got a nice little date evening drive. We also had to go get our own batteries, and they did come out really pretty. We also got our Nomad internet in, and got some new drinking water, but we still didn't get our package. Let's see what's going on this episode. Basically what we're doing right now is we're just prepping everything for the new batteries, for the new whole suit setup, changing up some of the uh, wiring we're using, so we're going to have to unhook everything and set it up with our new stuff. So we bought some copper pipe and to build some bus bars with, and they actually smashed them for us at Napa. I'm going to go ahead and try to smash the ends a little more so we'll have a good solid piece of plate to build a good bus bar with. What is a bus bar? What we're going to do is we essentially have two inverters. We're going to connect the batteries to this. And the inverters are all, and they'll basically be able to sh share the same battery bank instead of assigning batteries to different inverters. They'll all share from all six batteries. What is it? So this was a copper pipe we got from Lowe's. Now it's a flat piece of copper. Be a good conductor for what we're trying to do. What are you guys doing now? Mm, just, we're just doing some test fitting to see if our, how long these wires are and if they're going to work for our, our configuration. I mean, they look really good here. I love that they're smaller than the other ones. They pack a punch though. 1200 amp hours. So what are we doing RV Steve? We are crimping some battery terminals. And they go in here? Yeah, they will, this is the one that goes to the inverter and it will go to the bus bar over there where our batteries are connected to. Tie in right here. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, it'll tie in on the end there where our batteries are going. So can you explain everyone why you just chopped off the Anderson connector? Because we are going to use this type of connector on them to attach them to the bus bar. These are lug connectors. Only thing an Anderson connector connects to is another Anderson connector. But we don't have a lot of those, so we're just going to go with this. Go with this route. Well, two of our batteries, the leads coming out of it that came from the factory weren't long enough. They're the ones back here in the back, and they won't reach up there. So I had to make a kind of an extension. This is going to plug into the Anderson connector that they provided, but being it won't fit, so we're going to extend this forward. And I made these ends here and then they'll go to our bus bar for positive and negative and then that'll make the connection. RV Steve Travels is a genius best ever. All right they've got the bulk of it installed or they've got everything installed right but we've got to secure the batteries oh, and yeah. solar isn't hooked up yet but we got a ton of stuff done and look at this bar back here. It's a mess, but there's the bar back there. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff we still have to do, but overall, looks good. Good for, good for the first day. All right, so what we're doing is we're getting the, we're gonna reconfigure the charge controllers because I'm adding two more to this system. We're gonna change up the way we're doing it. So right now we're just kind of tearing everything apart. See how they fit in there best because they're about the same size. So we're gonna have four right there together. And we got them all four mounted. Now we're gonna run the wires and connect them all together. That way we can kind of clean it up a little bit and make it a little less wiry, I guess would be a word to use. All right, what are we doing, RV Steve? We are installing your converter. This is a 24 volt to 12 volt. Here's our 20 or 24 volt and then it outputs 12 volt out of here so you can run all your indoor LED lighting and all your water pumps and everything else inside. Instead of the car battery. Instead of having this instead battery, of the yeah, instead of yeah, the car battery fun. down here. That is pretty hot. I mean pretty ingenuitive. It got to buy just temporarily. Also, if you guys have ever wondered, this is where we keep all of our stickers. Sticker wall. Our sticker wall. Do you see your sticker on here? I see some stickers. Matt's RV reviews. How may I help you? How may I, oh, yep. There's Eric. Oh, yeah. Dreaming out loud. DOL, dreaming out loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Whoop, whoop. Nursing our travel bug. I love our stickers. 
So we're testing the wires right now coming from the solar panels to see which ones are which. That way we can mark them and identify them whenever we got them in the charge controllers. 42.3 volts. So what do we got to do to finish up? All we got to do is go up there, cramp our solar connectors on there and we're good to go. Start testing and see if we got any power. Yep. <laughs> The MC4 connectors, we're going to go ahead and map them together for the final time and we should have hopefully no sparks. Alright you guys, it's a great day because the fitting is here. Uh, there's also a guy that messaged Kyle about the batteries, so he's going to sell our old batteries right now. And I am going to get started cleaning out the bathroom and just like get rid of Satan's toilet. It is a monumentous day. Satan's toilet is out of here. Look who's back from going to the post office. Why'd they pack it in such a big box? A lot of, a lot of air in there. Did you make sure that it's actually in there? No. <laughs> that would be the worst. Yeah. Wow. That small thing was in gigantic box. Mm -hmm. Sure was. Now it's time to do what? Go back to bed. No, get rid of Satan's toilet. So what are you doing now? Gotta get this bay cleared out so we can move our tank over here. Multi-use tank is coming from over there to right here, and then you're moving the plumbing or the hot water heater on the other side. I don't know yet. Somewhere over there. I'm so excited. So we've got the water heater out, propane is out. Kyle's working on getting the miscellaneous stuff out. You need to make sure this doesn't yeah, fall. Generators out. So we're cleaning out the sludge of the multi-use tank. How exciting is this? Is it yummy? You're just ready for a composting toilet yeah, to be gone? Crap I've done and seen. Don't bother me. This is nothing. This is epically disgusting. I mean, it's just gray water, but it's still gross. However, what is it, babe? Better than a composting toilet? No. All right, so we're gonna put the grommet in, the three inch grommet. This is where the black pooper, pooper line's gonna go. And then we can put in a vent one, which I may not put the vent one in. I'm, still, I'm gonna try to use the old uh, gray, uh, gray water line. So let's try to get this bad boy in. Got it all recording, wait it ready to go, and you just like oh, you Oh, that's gross. So now what are you doing? Just cleaning off the clean yeah, because we want to make a good a connection and a good a seal with this as we can, so we don't want anything causing any interference with that. So trying to get this cleaned up pretty good. Are you gonna be like putting black tanks in for people now? Yep. You don't want that to be your job? What about a composting toilet emptier? No. How much fun would that be? No. So we've got the little thingy in the thingy. What's that thingy? Got to push her in there, put a little soap in there. Are you lubing her up? Lube her on. Is that what the directions say to do? Mm -hmm. Oh. So you read them? Watched them, read them. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm pleased. Not with their service, but with their products. Woohoo! Looks good. Kyle put like the entire tube of freaking black caulk on there. His foot accidentally hit it, so now he's got black crap all over his foot. Now, what are we doing? We're gonna put our hole in here. Ideally, it would go in the center, but it's got these. It's got the measure or the. Uh, the gallonage on here so it's not very smooth. So I think I'm gonna have to come over here, which is okay. Because that'll allow it to go kind of to the side and not straight up the middle of the floor where to take up all that space. So it's, I, I don't, I guess that's really the only choice I got right now. All right, so I'm building our custom flush for our new multi-purpose tank. Kind of making it up as I go. Kind of an idea 
I've been thinking about. So uh, putting everything together and we'll try that out here in a little bit. There she is. Look at that contraption. Are you proud of that? You designed it and built it yourself. We'll see how it works. You know what takes so long on projects? What takes so long on projects? That. No, what takes so long? This. You lose everything. All right, let's go check out this floor. So I got the floor all kills and ready to go. And then we're going to install my faux marble tile. Yay. You guys, I'm pretty proud of myself right now. I just installed all the new flooring by myself. Yes, I most certainly did. You want to see it? You want to see it? Look at this. Look at me and my new flooring. Women can do it too, y'all. I am super excited about my floor. I'm ready to get the toilet in. I am ready to get the vanity in and have this bathroom finished. You guys. Satan's toilet is just never leaving, apparently. Kyle's had to run to Lowe's and Home Depot 700,000 times. Um, because as you can see, we still have a toilet on the freaking floor. We have hot water. He just has to hook up the toilet completely and then we can move on to other things. We're probably going to get delayed a couple more days. It's just like, I don't know. But it's okay. It's all going to work out. We're going to leave when we're supposed to leave or when we're meant to leave. And it'll be fine. I'm not worried about it. I'm just excited to show you guys the finished product. When he gets the toilet in, I can finally put the vanity in. And I cannot wait for you to see it. Well, I would have loved to show you guys the rest of our evening. But it was quite eventful, actually. And we just didn't even get to pick up the camera. And he had to go to Lowe's for the fifth time. Six well the fifth time and then the sixth time but he sliced his finger wide open so yeah wide open ricky and grace are amazing neighbors thank goodness for them ricky got under the bus with kyle and was helping him with the plumbing after he cut his finger we made pretty good progress we ended up getting close we ended up not having the right fitting for the toilet at the end of the night at like 11 o'clock so we got a little bit more to go tomorrow but we're about 90 percent done with it yeah, we were just like there was blood all over kyle's shirt the hot water isn't working yeah, the hot water heater's not working we have these flies all in the bus that we just can't seem to get rid of because of the composting toilet i planned on that being out of the bus tonight but it's got one more night i guess it's in the shower so there's that i got the floor done so that's a plus this time tomorrow night It'll be pretty, pretty spectacular around here. Let's hope so, because today was exhausting, and I'm going to go to bed. Kyle's going to go to bed. And we'll see you guys in the morning.